Okay, here we go. We're playing Stormgate for the very first time. I don't know a thing about it. I've seen only two videos on the game. I can see that it's like StarCraft 2. So let's build some workers. And it tells you, it kind of cheats. It tells you that you can put 12 workers there. So you can put 12 there. And we need to take a worker. And we better start blocking the paths. Now I want to share with you, I have the AI on peaceful. Because this is not a match. This is not a one versus one walkthrough. This is more like a tutorial. As far as I know, there's no tutorial um, in the demo, at least that I could find. I can't make it work. So this is more like a tutorial. We're going to build a barracks and block some pathways. And we're going to build, I'm going to call them houses. They're not houses, though. But I'm going to build a house so you can get more units. I'm using generic terminology here. And the AI is on peaceful, but let's, yeah. let's build a military anyway. And we have to build a few more workers. They're called B.O.B.'s, Bob's. I'm so ready. Yes. And this one is called a command post, but we need 400 of that commodity. So we'll be at 400 ready. in a few seconds. Ready. It has a very StarCraft feel to it. Now, the AI is on peaceful. He's just spying on me. That's all. What's next? And <laughs> we can't kill that. He's at that enemy is in a health camp healing. But let's just have fun. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, I didn't pull him back fast enough. That's okay. Um, the AI will not be attacking me. It's on peaceful. This is just some kind of weird scout that I can't kill. Our forces are under attack. And we have too many workers down below, but we'll get back there. Let's build a barracks, I think, after the outpost and block that path. So from what I can tell, you're going to play this the way you play StarCraft. Yeah, we've got too many bobs on that, but this is the very first match. I'm just goofing around. And I'm going to be sharing a story about how to hear from God a little bit better. So the goal here is I'm going to build some more houses. They're not called that. I'm going to build a barracks and block the pathway. And I'm going to destroy this unit just because he's spying on me. It was a while ago that the Lord... Jesus impressed on my heart to start working with the homeless people. All right, so let's build some more workers. We'll build another house. I'm using generic terminology. And um, I guess they want 
12 people How can I help? working there as the perfect I number. And the Lord had really, really impressed on my heart that I would be going to Hollywood to be working with the homeless people. And I wanted to go, and I thought I was ready to go. Little did I know that he was going to put me on a journey. A journey spanning many years. He was constantly speaking to me about getting ready to go to Hollywood to work with the homeless people. I'm here to assist. So I was waiting for I'm the money. I needed a large amount of money to be able to move down to Hollywood. And to work with the homeless people, you know, maybe like four days a week, four nights. Robot engaged. This story spans many years, but I'll share it with you in about five minutes of time. All right, let's scout with the dog. And so we can put 12 people on that. So I'm basically making this game a tutorial here. Going to build each each building. Look inside. Um, see what we can do. And the way this works is we have to get our technology building. I hate to say this, but it's the same as StarCraft. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad because StarCraft II came out like 13 years ago. And even though I've only been playing for a few minutes, uh, seven minutes, I'm not sure if this is any better. Um, they advertise Stormgate as a next generation. Okay, these workers got to click the middle. That little middle circle. Now they're working. Um, they're advertising this as Unreal 5 next generation game. But, okay, we don't want to fight that. Let's just run Our with the dog. Are under attack. But let's keep playing and see if it... Uh, see if there's anything brand new. Okay. So I'm waiting for this large amount of money. Now, if that money ever shows up, that in itself is a gigantic miracle. So we'll build a command post and start gathering that. I'm making this a tutorial. I'm learning how to play with the AI on Peaceful. I love RTS games. I've had my eye on this game for about half of a year now. And I've seen two videos on it. Guess what? A few years later, the large amount of money comes. That is a mind-boggling miracle. So I... Asked my dad if he wants to travel with me down to Hollywood to look for an apartment. And he was a little shocked. My family was shocked that I might move to Hollywood and work with the homeless people, but he went with me. And after the Lord speaking to me about moving to Hollywood for many years, he stopped it. He stopped it in multiple supernatural ways. He stopped me from going. On the topic of hearing from the Lord, it is not simple. It is not easy to do. 
we're building our tech our technology building right there so we can get new units um this is like identical to starcraft 2 there's our tech technology building i think but um i'm gonna build one building of everything check out the game probably take me about 10 more minutes so uh, i feel like i'm hearing from the lord that i'm supposed to go to hollywood that he would send me a huge amount of money the huge amount of money came but he stopped move he stopped me moving to hollywood he stopped me completely so what he did is he sent me a message through a prophet through a friend of mine and he told my friend to tell me he said tell Garrett I'm stopping his move to Hollywood because he's not ready and that if he were if I were to have him go to Hollywood it's going to be very very bad for him because he's just not ready for this kind of ministry work he went on to tell me that Hollywood has already been judged by his father we're talking about God the father and that he's going to have me hit the streets helping homeless people in Las Vegas just a few times acts of mercy of the Lord Jesus on people All powered up. so what's the point of this true story sometimes we're hearing from the Lord but we're not hearing it correctly or we're hearing some of his message but other parts of his message get corrupted maybe corrupted by evil maybe corrupted by deceptions and trickery but they get corrupted maybe sometimes we want to hear from the Lord so badly that we just create these thoughts in our heart somehow I don't know how but we just we we want to hear him so badly tell us that it's okay to marry our boyfriend or girlfriend we want to hear him say yes so badly it's like we manipulate our own heart we manipulate our own messages that we think are coming from the Lord and they're actually not so I was hearing from the Lord correctly on some things and then on other things I was getting corrupted messages messages from evil messages from my pride messages of wishful thinking and I'll end the story as I build a couple of the last buildings or last units a machine lab a sentry post let the healing begin let's put a sentry post there and see what happens there's my big army I'll send them out the computer is on peaceful so they're gonna demolish the computer easily um it's not easy to hear from the Lord it's gonna take an entire lifetime of practice mercy from God and grace Online. show him how badly you want to hear from him Where am I needed? share your heart with him for the enemy. share your heart with Jesus and 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 let him know how important it is to you that you want to be able to hear from him that could really move his heart if you talk that way he's not going to let just anybody hear his voice he doesn't do that he's a great great king show him with all of your heart and all of your soul how badly you want to hear from him and that can move his heart and he'll start sending you grace 
Show him. Show him how much you care. Fear is for the enemy. Um, here. having my eye on this game for over half a year, watching Asmongold play a couple matches, watching another video, I hope you men and women of God don't get angry at me, but I'm a tiny bit disappointed. This is simply StarCraft. Um, I'm going to try another match or two and put the AI on, on much harder. But the units are like a copy of StarCraft 2. The buildings are like a copy. The gathering is a direct copy. The units move like StarCraft 2. And I don't like to hate on a game. I, I, I don't like to do that. But... But wow, with Skull and Bones out, with Suicide Squad out, and and other and and the Terminator game coming out in one week, I mean, come on. This RTS game has to be incredible because of the competition that we're talking about. So, I, I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you, or you know, or. If you've had your eye on this game with really high expectations, I don't see any Unreal 5 here. I've got the settings on high. I don't see anything different. I don't see next generation. But um, this is a little practice tutorial uh, match we did against the AI. Please remember what we talked about. The Lord Jesus is a great, great king. And very few people get to hear from him. It is an honor and a privilege and a gift to be able to hear from him. See, this fighting here is no better than StarCraft 2. No better at all. Praise God, I'm going to end the video. I'm not even going to wipe out his base. I'm just going to end the video. Our forces are under attack. Amen.